Once there was magic all throughout the world But now it's fading fast and we're our only hope Risks we'll embrace on the strange island But no matter what, you'll always be my best friend Once upon a time, magic used to be everywhere And magical creatures were part of the fabric of life Witches were central to society. Hey you, more hustle. Magical advisor to the mayor coming through. People relied on magic for everything, from minor tasks to major undertakings. It was a real honor to have a witch working for you. Until one day. Hey, I'm flying here. Go. <laughs> Susie spotted a friend sobbing on the docks. Susie, I got replaced at my cushy night job. Oh, they probably just fired the wrong person. What's better than a teenage witch? Apparently, something called a hydraulic crane. It's even doing my flight pattern. Hey, don't worry. I'll take this to the mayor. We'll get you your job back. Nobody puts a witch in a ditch. Hop on. <laughs> don't cry on my hair. You wait here, Mallory. Mayor? Ah, Susie, my trusted magical advisor. With all due respect, Mr. Mayor, I'm here to issue a complaint. My friend Mallory used to work at the docks, but they've replaced her with a hydraulic crane. And what's up with that? Oh, Susie, the world is changing. New, exciting inventions are taking the place of magic. Something completely bananas crazy is going on here, Mallory. They don't respect witches anymore. Like a sandwich? Yeah, oh, no. Give me your hand. Your magic is almost gone. Mallory, wait here. Rosie, apples, Violet, you're all still witches, right? Like sandwiches? Oh, no! I need psychic advice pronto! What's going on? Why are people forgetting about witches and why is everything bad today? Sit down, Susie. Magic can sense it's unwelcome, so it's retreating. Well, where is it retreating to? Mm. Okay, I'll just gather all the magical creatures in New York, put them on a boat and bring them to that spot. Hey you, this is an emergency broadcast. We're all losing our powers. Meet me at 5 p.m. at the docks for an evacuation. Bring everything. I only have a little bit of magic left. I have to make this count. Arkham, evacuate him. Almost there. Just a couple of finishing touches. Everyone, this can't be happening. Are you okay? Am I too late? Uh, late for what? For the evacuation. Isn't this your boat? The Princess Susie? Cool. I must be married to a prince. No, you're a witch. A sandwich? Like pastrami on rye? Hey, what are you doing? Shush a bee. There's barely any magic left in you. I think making this boat taps you out. Surprise party? For me? I had no idea. Susie, you're a witch. Don't cry on my hair. Hey, are you guys here to witness magic disappear completely from the world? No, we're here to save it. And exactly how do you cuties plan to save magic? I'm Barb, the groundskeeper of this island, and I haven't even figured that out. Look, Barb, this is where magic is retreating to. We have to get up there so I can reverse the flow of magic somehow. Oh, you mean the diamond? The source of all magic for the universe. Yeah, we can't go there. What? Why? There are too many Jabberwocks in frozen time. Too many of them in frozen time is bad news. You gotta balance them out with time, babies. Force of the present. But nobody knows how to make these cuties. So we gotta go destroy us some Jabberwocks. One, two, three, draw! <laughs> okay, now we just have to get to that diamond. Hey, cute little time baby. 
Come to Ramona, baby, baby, baby. Well, I guess we're going this way. What you looking at? Oh. <gasps> now what? I'm too freaked out to do anything. I'm gonna go work on Plan B. See ya. <gasps> Whoa. What did you have for lunch? You better not have the same thing for dinner. Wait a minute. Dinner? Future, lunch, past. Susie? I'm figuring something out. I've been alive for hundreds of years, which means my burps are pure past. Jabberwocks are pure future, so naturally they hate the past. We can crush Jabberwocks with my ghost burps. Hurry, there's significant stuff that happens in people's lives. Let's dredge up some memories while you hit me on the back. You got it, Susie. Your first kiss. <laughs> OK, this is going to work. Come on. Your first day of... School! Uh, when you ran away from home! Did you ever do that? Obviously. First time you fell off your broomstick and everyone saw your bloomers. <laughs> first surprise party. First tickle. First kick in the butt. I think I need a time out. I'm not feeling so good. Ramona? So, this is 15, huh? Thought I'd be taller. Maybe we should just enjoy our last moments of being magical. <sighs> Maybe you're right. We gave it our best shot. That's all we can do. All right. Now that's the spirit. We were witches, our mitts never touched no dirty dishes. We were witches, normals obeyed our every wishes. We got what we wanted, while you all just got haunted. And that is why I might just cry, cause we're gonna miss it when we were witches. Oh! Whoa, Nelly! Ooh, that's the biggest time, baby, I have ever seen. <laughs> How did you guys even do that? Uh, Bob? Ah, uh, don't worry about that. That just means he likes you. Uh, Ramona? <laughs> Look, the diamond, the source of all magic. It's sucking it all back in. Maybe with my last piece of magic, I can reverse the flow. We'll do it quick. We've got Jabberwocks incoming and look at their eyebrows. That can't be good. Hey! <sighs> this thing's being stupid. It's just sucking up all my spell juice. So what do we do? I don't know. I thought this would work. Well, I'm not sure what's about to happen here, but it's pretty scary. What do you think about holding hands, buddy? Yeah, sure thing, pal. Bye, Ramona. Bye, Susie. Look, the diamond is stable. I think we did it. Susie, do you have any idea what just happened? Not a clue. A prophecy, that's what happened. The prophecy that magic will be saved by two best friends. And you're them. <gasps> <coughs> prophecy says that two best friends will save magic. It doesn't say anything about one of them having a nasty case of time sickness. Is that what this is? I thought I might have the plague, but I was afraid to say anything. You must be immortal, right? Immortals can't exist in frozen time. It's like trying to pop pop popcorn. It's redundant. Is she going to be okay? Don't worry, you'll be fine, as long as you never come back to frozen time. You can still help restore magic to the world, though. I thought we just did that? No, no, you just saved the island. The rest of the world still needs a lot of work. Here. <sighs> All the instructions you'll need are in this binder. So for a few decades, they followed the binder's instructions. They called magical beings to the island, and they started a witch school. At this point, they were one witch away from becoming a full coven. 
Mallory, on your right. Prophecy Witch coming through. Actually, on your right and on your left. There's two of us. We're best friends. So do you think they'll name a national holiday after us? Yep. Do you think it'll be the day we met or the day we save magic? Both. We'll have two. Like how there's 4th of July and Flag Day. Of course! Are you working on progress reports? Sort of. I'm making magically imbued friendship bracelets. The magic is that they smell like peaches. Ooh! Oh, I love peaches. <gasps> the 13th witch arrives on the beach at dawn. We're going to be a complete coven. The final step before we can open the sacred manila envelope. And bring magic back to the world. Then we can finally retire to Massachusetts, like we always planned. And so the 13th witch arrived at dawn. Sorry! Pigtails. Wow, I've been here literally 20 seconds and the inhabitants are already copying my look. I'm Betsy. What's with the pigtails? What's with your pigtails, pigtails? And what kind of witch uses a badminton racket as a wand? Wand? Witch? The binder rings thrice! Mm -mm. That's not how I sound. What's it say? Attention, coven! All 13 witches report to the Yeti Meadow at 9pm for important spell. So, pigtails, how's your witchcraft? I legitimately thought I was here because I wore pants once and my mom sent me to reform school. I'm really supposed to be a witch? Oh, we got a lot of work to do, P. Germanatus Festivus? Uh, uh, okay, pro tip. If you become best friends with Alice here, you'll be better in magic. Germanatus Festivus! Give it a try, pigtails. So, Alice, you ever, uh, put pants on? Do I ever? Ha! I put pants on my lamps, I put pants on my ants! If you're thinking the bug, I actually meant my mom's sister. Oh, quick follow-up! I also put them on ants! The bug! I mean, he looks terrible in pants, but I still put them on him. I don't know. This isn't feeling super organic. You two, come with us. We'll show you how it's done. Best friends lift each other up. You're the best! No! <laughs> You're the best. They're always honest with each other. Hey, Susie, I can barely smell your B.O. What? <laughs> Thanks for telling me. They relax together. They promise to always be there for each other. And most of all, they trust each other. I got you! I got you! I got you. This is it. Thirteen together, reverse the weather, blanket of white, lift to a great height, fulfill the prophecy, and give magic hope by helping us open this manila envelope. How cute! It's a letter opener! It's finally here. Well, what does it say? It tricked us. This is not how you save magic. The one for whom time stands still must stay and live in the present. The one for whom time continues must live to stay present in frozen time. Does that mean... It means we have to split up. It's Frozen Time Express! Beep beep! It's Frozen Time Express! Final boarding call for Ramona the Witch! <laughs> beep beep! you. Look what I'm wearing. Aw, friendship bracelet. Still smells just like the day you gave it to me. <laughs> Peaches. So guess what? They got another prophecy. 
whoop de doo The last one said we were going to be two best friends who were going to save magic. And now we're always apart and the island is dying. I know. But right now we have to get new magic to the island. You see these dots? These are new magical creatures. You have to bring them to the island. Why? Those dots look perfectly happy in New York. Look, this one's seeing a show. Hey, what happened? Oh, that's their magic fading away. These new magical creatures don't know their magic. And no one's teaching them. This is the next generation. If they don't learn magic, it'll be lost forever. Ugh, who even cares about magic anymore? Nothing we do gets you out of frozen time. But what if I told you this will get me out of frozen time? What? How? No time to explain now. Just hurry and get those kids. Mirror of glass. Portal may pass. Magic map coming through. Woo! The Susie and Ramona show is coming back to town. Betsy, Alice, I'm promoting you from students to my casual friends. First up, we're going to take a little trip to my old haunt, New York. But people don't know about magic anymore, so we have to swan up super chill. Sirs. Okay, they're buying it. Let's go find these creatures. If each of these dots represents a magical being, then why haven't we seen a single elf, a single alien, or a single monster? <laughs> That's a baby yeti sneeze. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it can't be. She looks nothing like one. Come on. Uh, hi. I don't know, she looks pretty regular. <laughs> That's a Yeti. What? Oh, she said, uh, Serengeti. That's what we say in our friendship group after somebody sneezes. Oh, tragic. Actually, we're a wilderness girls troop. Magic focused. Do you like magic? Do you think you might be magical? <laughs> no way. Not my thing. Ramona said these creatures don't know that they're magic, so we got to get them to the island some other way. We were thinking, uh, summer camp. Oh, sure. Okay. So Susie and the gang delivered invitations all over town. Huh? Summer camp for a precocious youth? After successfully delivering all the envelopes, Susie, Alice, and Betsy returned to the island. Okay, we haven't got much time. You guys get the camp ready, and I'll tell Ramona she can come back now. And the two of us... We'll meet you at the beach. A letter from Ramona, probably about how excited she is to see me today. Go ahead and read. Dear Susie, I can feel the magic coming closer to the island and I know that it's thanks to you. I wish I could be there to enjoy it with you. Someday I will be, but today is not that day. I'm sorry for misleading you, but bringing the kids to the island was the only chance we had of saving magic. I hope someday you'll understand. Your BFF, Ramon. Ah! <laughs> Betray me! Use me like a ding dong pawn and call it friendship! I'll punch him your face! Stupid, unbreakable magic mirror! <laughs> Bit of string, don't mean a thing. I'm going to work. Get this mess cleaned up by the time I get home. Places, everybody. Now, remember, act like we've been doing this for years and years. 